millions of Christians throughout the world, your Imperial Majesty, will regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Sometime you find... has overcome the lies, the good news of his majesty in his Christ, and it is vital that we raise our tribal flag, the flag of the conquering lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Find some jewels in the oddest year. All right. Sometimes you come across jewels. Yeah, sound like Jews, right? No, sometimes you come across some jewels in the oddest of places. Remember we was talking about that that big lie that Dr. York, a.k.a. Mom Issa, has um, circulated maliciously as slander against Kedamawi Hala Selassie, against Abata Chin. And going through some tapes that we have here in our camp and tent here in the wilderness of North America, came across this uh, True Light Tapes True Light Tapes, the history of Al-Imam Isa, the reformer in Arabic and English. And I don't know if some of you all heard of this tape uh, some years ago, but it's interesting. It's basically Dr. York's, a.k.a. Imam Isa's, uh, is his story, his, his narrative, you know, his tale, his, his mythology, basically of who he is and how he's come across. This is when he was doing the Imam Isa thing. I want you to listen to this because this is the proof positive that the lie and slander against his imperial majesty that Dr. York has circulated is nothing but that, a lie and a malicious slander. You know, this is a malicious slander. His Imperial Majesty's name, Abatachin's name, has been slandered. And his sovereignty has been challenged. And we are responding to this challenge with proof that Dr. York lied concerning the assassination and all this that he has written in his books about Haile Selassie, the first of Ethiopia being somehow responsible for the assassination of his father. The proof is right here. Just listen to this for a moment. This is one of the jewels that we just came across off of the history. This is an excerpt from the history of Al-Imam Isa, a.k.a. Dr. York. But he was told to lock it up until a predestined time, 1970 A.D. Daniel 12.4 All truth would be revealed after this time by way of the written word. The Pamphlets of Peace, Isaiah 52, 7. The year 1970 A.D. is the same year the devil, curse him, in the flesh, assassinated his father, Al-Hadi Abdul Rahman Al-Mahdi, on him be peace, 1925-1970 A.D. But the father's spirit, light, went into his son. Allah, most glorified and exalted, is the best of planets. After his father was unmercifully killed in the Sudan in 1970 A.D. Pause, pause right there. You heard that? You heard that? Um, just back it up a little bit. Back it up again. most glorified and exalted is the best of planets. Uh-huh. After his father was unmercifully killed in the Sudan. Okay, in after Dr. York, okay, 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 a.k.a. Okay, okay, Imam okay, Issa, after his Imam father, Isa. who Dr. York has been circulating this malicious rumor, has been assassinated allegedly according to Dr. York by his Imperial Majesty or somehow his Imperial Majesty being implicated in that. He was not passing through the country of Ethiopia. He was not so-called arrested and detained by Ethiopian police. He was not assassinated by Haile Selassie the first. So the Dr. York has two stories. You understand the first story of Dr. York, Ali Mom Isa, the first story, th this is the first story. Listen but the once father's again. spirit. Back it up a little bit more. Assassinated his father. Okay, he's talking about the devil assassinated Isaiah his father. Isaiah 52, 7. Mm -hmm. The year 1970 A.D. 1970. The same year the devil, curse him, in the flesh, assassinated his father, 
Al Hadi Abdul Rahman Al Mahdi. On him be peace. 1925-1970 AD. But the Father's Spirit, light, went into his Son. Allah most glorified and exalted. Uh, pause that right there. That sounds a little bit like uh, reincarnation or something. Is, was that a little thing of reincarnation? The Father's light went into the Son, so the Son didn't have any light until then. But anyway, this is going on. Al Mahdi. On him be peace. 1925-1970 AD. But the Father's Spirit, light, went into his Son. Mm. Allah, most glorified and exalted, is the best of planets. After his father was unmercifully killed in the Sudan. Okay, after his father was unmercifully, mercil mercilessly killed in the Sudan, Dr. York's father, according to his own testimony from his so-called True Light Tapes, from the original tent of Qadar, 717 Bushwick Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11221, from a cassette entitled uh, The History of Al-Imam Isa, a.k.a. Dr. York, he bears witness, and this is his story, he bears witness that he's been telling the truth for all these years. His father, Al-Hadi Abdurrahman Al-Mahdi, was assassinated, allegedly, according to his new story, by Haile Selassie, or Haile Selassie has something to do with that. You can look in the book uh, that he wrote, um, uh, is Haile Selassie the Christ. If you look at that scandalous, um, you know, it's, it's just a nonsense, basic nonsense book. You understand, it's almost like a comic book or something, a bad comic book. You understand, a reject from DC or Marvel. So he puts out this comic book, this lie. You understand, but the main thing is, is what's behind such a lie. You got a lot of fools, a lot of idiots. You understand? Some of the things in Dr. York's book, yeah, some of the things are are correct. You understand? Some things are common knowledge that most of y'all and most of us at various times didn't have access to before the World Wide Web. And we find out all these books and we can, you know, Google books and so forth and so on. So some of the information in Dr. York's books have been correct. You understand? And this is what really was, um, you know, brought, you could say, you know, was painful, it grieved us when we had to witness Dr. York's malicious lies against Ketamawi Haile Selassie and against the blameless Ethiopians and that he has put out the lie that his imperial majesty somehow was responsible. This is the proof directly from Dr. York's own um, story. You understand? So he has two stories. You understand? One story is that he was passing through Ethiopia and he was killed in Ethiopia. The other story, the first story is that he was killed in the Sudan, obviously by Sudanese and by his own people, seeing the tribal kind of conflicts, Darfur, so forth and so on, that has been going on. So just back it up one more time and let it play. And this is one of the jewels. We wanted to just speak on this and share this. Man, El Mahdi. On him be peace. 1925-1970 AD. But the Father's Spirit, light, went into his Son. Allah, most glorified and exalted, is the best of planets. After his father was unmercifully killed in the Sudan in 1970 AD, Isa returned to Sudan to find the country in turmoil. He was rejected by the Sudanese. After this, he became determined to teach the doctrine of El Mahdi. On him be peace as his father wholeheartedly taught and lived until his last breath. So what's obvious here is that um, the Sudanese, when Isa, a.k.a. Dr. York, after his father's alleged assassination and everything, after Isa returned to uh, Sudan, he went to Sudan, the Sudanese then recognized him as being the reincarnation of his father. He overstands, so they didn't recognize him or whatever like that. So then he decided to come over here, you understand, to Bushwick, you understand, in Brooklyn, you understand, and with you Negroes and everything, and to kind of spin his um, yarn. It's just in interesting, he says right here, therefore, he says he decided to clarify any lies perpetrated against me by telling you the real story myself. And this is what's interesting in light of what we're speaking about right here. So that you won't be led astray by the slanderers. Woe to the slanderers. Dr. York, 
mummies, wabians, hope you all repent. You understand? You need to repent. You understand? Repent of the lies and slanders against Kadamawi Hala Selassie. And you need to learn the truth. You understand? The, the true good news of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ from I and I and the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. So, a word to the wise should be sufficient. Your response to this will determine and show yourselves and everyone else whether you are wise and whether that word, this word, is sufficient to you. We'll definitely touch on those. And when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky. Millions of Christians throughout the world, your Imperial Majesty, will regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Sometime you find